point. Let's prove it why it works. Okay, so I gave you a dry run of the algorithm. So like I gave you a dry run why all the values in this range low to higher are possible. But it's very important to also understand uh, uh, like concretely, concretely prove this fact, right? So yeah, but if you see uh, intuitively also what we try to do is we started with this smallest sum. And if you wanted just one, like we wanted the sum, if you wanted the sum to go from S to S plus one, what we did is, uh, what we did is we replaced this three with four, right? That's what we did. And we replaced this four with five, right? So what we are effectively doing is we are replacing an element A with AI plus one, uh, A plus one to go from sum S to S plus one. That's what we're effectively doing, right? All right. So coming back to the proof. So let's start off uh, with our proof. So in the end, uh, I give you some sort of a hint here that uh, if you want to go from this sum S to sum S plus one, what you need to do is in the current set of K elements that you have, you have to replace this A with A plus one, right? So what do we effectively need basically? What do we effectively need to prove? What we need to effectively prove is uh, in any set of K numbers that you have, okay, in any set of K numbers that you have, okay, in any set of K numbers in any set of K numbers that you have, of course, uh, whose sum whose sum is less than high. Okay, whose sum is less than high, uh, and of course, it will be definitely greater than low, right? In any, if you pick any set of K numbers, uh, definitely its sum will be greater than equals to low. That's obvious. But uh, whose sum is less than high, what you need is you need to have this A such that A i plus one is not in the current set right not in the current set right so i think you get it so basically what i'm saying is if i want to go from this s to s plus one now first of all uh, this s need not be high right uh, this s if s is this i then of course you cannot go it so first thing first if i want to go from s to s plus one and it replaces a with a plus one so what what needs to be held true in any set of k numbers whose sum is less than high whose sum is less than high i need to find this a such that a plus one is not in the current set, basically in the current set of k numbers that you're holding. Fine. Now, uh, if you start off with the smallest possible sum, basically if you start off with this set, the set of smallest possible numbers, one, two, three, finding uh, this A is very easy, right? It is simply the maximal element of the set, right? So basically uh, in this part, so you start off with this set, right? So the smallest possible sum that is possible is one, two, three. Now finding this A in that case is very easy, right? In case of one, two, three, it is just uh, basically, uh, what I'm saying is, if you have a set of k numbers, if you have a set of k numbers, let's say something like this, a1, a2, so on, a k, a1, so to so on, a k, a1, so to so on, a k, and uh, this a k is not equal to n, okay, this a k is not equal to n, basically it's 3 here, right, so here a k is not equal to n, it is not equal to 10, what you can do is, you can just replace this a k with a k plus 1, right, if you have 1, 2, 4 with you, if you have 1, 2, 4 with you, to get the sum, just one more, so right now the sum is what, 4 plus 2 plus, one, 4 plus 2 plus 1, uh, 7. If you want to just get uh, just one more, so you want to go to 8, just replace this 4 with 5. Okay. Just replace with this, replace this 4 with 5. Right. So basically, what I'm saying is if you have a set of, uh, if you have a set of key numbers such that, uh, if you have a set of key numbers such that the AK, basically the largest element is not equal to N, you can just replace AK with AK plus 1. Fine. So the proof is done uh, for the cases when, so basically, 5 can be replaced by 6. Right. Similarly, 6 can be replaced by 7. 7 can be replaced by 8, 8 can be replaced by 9. So what I mean by 8 can be replaced by 9 is when you want to go from S to S plus 1, right? Similarly, 9 can be replaced by 10, fine. So the proof is done for the case when the largest element in the set of K elements that you have right now is not equal to N, right? So basically, you start off with this sum low, right? And you can always reach, you can always increment it by 1. You can always increment it by 1 unless this AK doesn't become N, right? So you can always get the sum unless this, you can always increment this sum by 1, unless this AK becomes the largest possible element, right? So unless it becomes 10, you can always get it. The proof till this part is done, uh, in which uh, the set of K elements that you have, the maximal element that you have is not equal to N, right? The maximal element that you have is not equal to N. Now let's uh, talk about the case when the maximal element has become N, fine? So let's think about the case 2 of the proof. The case 1 was uh, the maximal element was not equal to N. Now the maximal element, now the maximal element is equal to N. Okay, is equal to n. So basically, uh, doesn't matter whatever you have for a1, a2, a3, so on. But the last guy, this ak, is actually n. This ak is actually n. So if you want to understand from here, it doesn't matter whatever you have. Maybe you have one, three, but the last guy is ten. Okay, 
Now what we want to prove is, this is very interesting. What we want to prove is, in this set of k elements, when the maximal element is 10, when the maximal element is 10 and the sum is less than high, you know, I can go from s to s plus 1, right? So, okay, <laughs> I think I went a little bit fast here. So, see, what, what I want to prove now is, when will the proof be complete is, in this set, where the maximal element is n, in our case, 10, and, and the sum of this element is less than high. Of course, the sum of this element is less than i. The maximum element is n. The sum of this element is still less than i. I should be able to find this a such that a plus 1 1 is not in the set. Okay, I'll repeat myself again. In this set, the maximal element is n, but the total sum is still less than high. I should be able to find an element a such that a plus 1 1 is, a plus 1 is not in this set. Then my proof will be complete. Right? My proof will be complete there and there itself. Fine. Okay, so now let's uh, try to prove this. How do you prove it? Okay, I guess the video is getting a little bit longer. If it gets too longer, I'll probably split the proof, okay, into a separate video. And yeah, fine. <laughs> okay. So, how do you prove it then? Uh, what we need to prove is, uh, in the set of k elements, where the maximal element is equal to n, maximal element is equal to n, and the total sum is less than high, total sum less than high, this is important, okay. Then, you can find an element a, so that a plus 1 is not in the set. Okay, so basically, if you can find this element, then you can always go from s to s plus 1. Fine, so that's what you have to do. Okay, so how do you do it? So proof by contradiction uh, is a very standard way of proving things. So let's just assume the opposite. Let's just assume the opposite. So what is the opposite we want to assume? Let's assume uh, that anyway, the sum total you have is less than high. Fine, no issues. No issues there. The maximal element is still n. Fine, no issues. This is everything is fine here. Maximal element is n. Fine. But I'll see, what I want is, there should be a, a such that uh, a plus 1 is not in the set. Right? That's what I want to prove. For that a, a plus 1 is not in the set. That's what I want to prove. So I'll assume completely opposite. There does not exist. There does not exist. Okay, so these two are fine. Some less than high and maximum equal to n. And now what I'm assuming is, I'm assuming completely opposite to what I want. What I want is, there should be an a, there should be an a, at, there should be any a such that a plus 1 is not part of this set. Okay, so that I could go from s to s plus 1. So I'll assume completely opposite. There does not exist, there does not exist an element, mm, there does not exist an element, or I should add any element a such that a plus 1 is in the current set. the current set of k elements okay so i'm assuming completely opposite so sum is less than high maximum is still n and there does not exist any element a so that a plus one is in the current set of k element so this is basically for for every possible for every possible set of k elements okay for every possible set of k elements for every possible set of k elements there does not exist any element a so that a plus one is in the current set of k elements fine okay so what does it mean what does it mean it means uh, if a1 is there here, a1 plus 1 is also part of the set, right? Because I am assuming that there is no element whose uh, just one element greater than is part of the set, right? So, yeah. So, basically, for every element, the number just greater than it exists. a1 plus uh, 2 also exists, fine? Right? Now, we are missing one important thing here. So, on, this has to go till k elements, right? This has to go till k elements. So, what is this? This a k is k, fine. The maximum element is n. So it means n minus 1 should exist. n minus 1 should exist. It means n minus 2 should exist. So on, n minus 1, k plus 1 should exist. So what is this set? Basically, n minus k plus 1 till n set. So if you observe here, uh, if you observe here, what is this thing? What is this thing? What is this 8? 8, 9, 10. This is what? n minus 3 plus 1, n minus k plus 1, right? So what is this set that you got? What is this set you got? You basically, uh, this set basically is representing the maximum sum, but we already assumed that the sum is less than high. So this is the contradiction. Oof, what just happened here? <laughs> what just happened here? <laughs> okay, so you assume that the sum is less than high and the maximum element is n. And I'm assuming the completely opposite thing from what I want. For every possible set of k elements that does not exist any element a such that uh, a plus 1 uh, is not, okay, I should write here, is not in the current set of k elements. Okay, so basically, a1 exists, a1 plus 1 also exists, a1 plus 2 also exists. So, see, we are after this element a, such that a plus 1 is not part of the set of k elements that you have, right? Uh, so, we assume completely opposite. That does not exist any, that does not exist an element a, 
does not exist an element a such that a plus 1 is not a part of the current set. It simply means a is there, a plus 1 is there, a plus 2 is there, so on till a k is there. But see, guys, this a k was n, right? See, guys, this a k was n. So basically, n minus 1 should be there, n minus 2 should be there, so on. There are k elements, right? So n minus k plus 1 should be there. And this set is nothing. This set simply is the maximum sum, but we already assume this is not the maximum sum. So that's a contradiction. So basically, whenever maximal element is n and the sum is less than high, we can find a such that a plus 1 is not part of the set and sum can be incremented to sum plus 1. The proof is complete here. I hope you got it. <laughs> the tutorial proof is not that intuitive. I spent a lot of time uh, by reading the comments of the code courses and uh, derived this proof. Uh, if you're not able to understand, please uh, rewind and watch it again. I guess I have put everything that I want to discuss for this proof. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.